Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to learn in details about manufacturing economics, the manufacturing cost models, including overhead costs, and equipment cost rate. We are studying introduction and overview of manufacturing. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Manufacturing cost models. In this section, the cycle time analysis is used to estimate the costs of production, which include not only the cost of time but also material and overhead. The cost of time consists of labor and equipment costs, which are applied to the average production time per piece as cost rates, take for example, dollars per hour. Thus, our cost model for production cost per piece can be stated as follows. CPC equals to CM plus CL plus CEQ into TP plus CT, where CPC represents cost per piece expressed in dollars per piece. CM represents starting material cost expressed in dollars per piece. CL represents labor cost rate expressed in dollars per minute. CEQ represents equipment cost rate expressed in dollars per minute. CT represents cost of tooling that is used in the unit operation expressed in dollars per piece and TP represents average production time per piece expressed in minutes per piece. If applicable, the cost of tooling CT must be determined by dividing the actual cost of the tooling by the number of pieces between tool changes. Overhead costs The two cost rates, CL and CEQ, include overhead costs, which consist of all of the expenses of operating the company other than material, labor, and equipment. Overhead costs can be divided into two categories, factory overhead and corporate overhead. Factory overhead consists of the costs of running the factory excluding materials, direct labor, and equipment. This overhead category includes plant supervision, maintenance, insurance, heat and light, and so forth. A worker who operates a piece of equipment may earn an hourly wage of $15 per hour. But when fringe benefits and other overhead costs are figured in, the worker may cost the company $30 per hour. Corporate overhead consists of company expenses not related to the factory, such as sales, marketing, accounting, legal, engineering, research and development, office space, utilities, and health benefits. These functions are required in the company, but they are not directly related to the cost of manufacturing. On the other hand, for pricing the product, they must be added in, or else the company will lose money on every product it sells. The issue of overhead costs can become quite complicated. Our approach in this course is simply to include an appropriate overhead expense in our labor and equipment cost rates. For example, the labor cost rate is CL equals to RH divided by 60 into 1 plus RLOH where CL represents labor cost rate expressed in dollars per minute. RH represents workers hourly wage rate expressed in dollars per hour and RLOH represents labor overhead rate expressed in percentage. This figure shows the typical breakdown of costs for a manufactured product where amongst the other costs the manufacturing cost accounts for 40% of the total cost for this particular product. Again, 50% of this 40% manufacturing cost goes into the cost of parts and materials, a 12% plus 12%, total 24% of this 40% manufacturing cost goes into the direct and indirect labor cost. And the rest 26% of the 40% manufacturing cost goes into plant and machinery, depreciation, energy etc. Health benefits, if available from the company, are fringe benefits that apply to all regular employees, and so they would be included in the direct labor overhead in the factory as well as the corporate offices. Equipment cost rate. 
the cost of production equipment used in the factory is a fixed cost, meaning that it remains constant for any level of production output. It is a capital investment that is made in the hope that it will pay for itself by producing a revenue stream that ultimately exceeds its cost. The company puts up the money to purchase the equipment as an initial cost, and then the equipment pays back over a certain number of years until it is replaced or disposed of. This is different from direct labor and material costs, which are variable costs, meaning they are paid for as they are used. Direct labor cost is a cost per time, expressed in dollars per minute, and material cost is a cost per piece take for instance dollars per piece. In order to determine an equipment cost rate, the initial cost plus installation cost of the equipment must be amortized over the number of minutes it is used during its lifetime. The equipment cost rate is defined by the following. CEQ equals to IC divided by 60 NH into 1 plus ROH. Where CEQ represents equipment cost rate expressed in dollars per minute. IC represents initial cost of the equipment expressed in dollars. N represents anticipated number of years of service. H represents annual number of hours of operation expressed in hours per year and ROH represents applicable overhead rate for the equipment expressed in percentage. So, we have studied in details about manufacturing economics, the manufacturing cost models, including overhead costs and equipment cost rate. Thank you.